to say, I think you are the last person I expected to see at my door at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> the last time I saw you, didn't you tell me, and I quote, eat glass, you soulless narcissist? <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. It was soulless sociopath. <laughs> yeah, that's what you called me. I have to say, though, narcissist has such a better ring to it. Sociopath just sounds so clinical. Anyways, to what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, you think you left your watch here, huh? That really expensive one your grandfather gave you? <laughs> oh, I remember it. That thing was crazy nice. I can't believe you were so careless with it. <laughs> oh, you want to check inside, huh? You got a warrant? I'm messing with you. Just come on in. I don't remember seeing it around. Do you know where you think you left it? Oh, well, just go ahead, grab it, and let yourself out. No? You're sure you left it right there, huh? <laughs> um, what are you trying to say? Yeah, that's right. You better not be accusing me of anything. <sighs> Why don't you check the bathroom? I still haven't cleaned out your drawer in there. Oh yeah, that's the robe I got you for your birthday. Why don't you just take that home with you too? I know how much you liked it, and it was pretty expensive. I guess it wasn't all bad. No, no, it's yours. I really don't want to be wearing your clothing, if you can imagine that. Someone may as well enjoy it. So, take it. So, no watch in there? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, you were always losing things. It's probably with your iPad and your favorite jacket. Come on, babe. You lose things all the time. Maybe you lost your memories of all the things you lost. <laughs> you were always sending me on those stupid wild goose chases looking for your crap, but I guess that's not really my problem anymore, is it? <sighs> so, how are you doing without me? out there in the big, big world, all by yourself, <laughs> no one to help you keep track of things and, well, basically manage your life. <laughs> I mean, I guess I answered my own question watching you come crawling back to my door, frantically searching for Probably the most expensive and sentimental item you own. <laughs> I'm sorry you're having such a hard time. <laughs> oh, sure. You're not. <laughs> My bad. 
Did you check in the cupboard? Hmm. Not there either, huh? How about... <laughs> Did you think to check over at Sarah's house? <laughs> well, I know how much time you spent there while we were together. I mean, at least one of those nights when you were there. In the throes of things. Maybe the watch just flew off, you know, in the heat of the moment, fell under the bed, or, God forbid, maybe she pawned it. <laughs> Give me a break. I know you cheated on me when we were together. What do you take me for? An idiot? Look, you're not my problem anymore, but you're in my house right now. If you want to come over and lie to me on my turf, don't expect me to treat you with kid gloves and don't expect me to try to assuage your conscience. I don't owe you anything. No proof. <laughs> How about the proof of whenever I would see her anywhere? <laughs> I saw the look on her face. <laughs> she was entranced by you. Yeah, yeah, that's all the proof I need. Oh, give me a break. I was not just the jealous type. Possessive? I was possessive over you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's rich. I put up with girls constantly checking you out, constantly trying to flirt with you. So what if you didn't flirt back? You want some kind of metal? I know you wanted to. Because of course you wanted to. Look, I have things to do today. So if you could just finish up your little home search, I'd really appreciate it. You can't find it, huh? <laughs> Hate to say it, but I wonder if, my dear, if you even left it here at all. <laughs> maybe you lost it, yeah, but maybe. Maybe this watch is just an excuse. An excuse to come back here? Worm your way back into my life? Just one last time? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do think so. I think... You miss me. I think you miss me, and... You were just sitting around at home, missing your big bad girlfriend, <laughs> and just wanted to think of any excuse to get yourself back into my house. <laughs> Maybe if I saw you again, I'd realize how much I missed you too, and we'd just fall back in bed together. Didn't you? Hmm? Didn't you? <sighs> okay then. Find your watch and get out. I don't have it. 
I don't need your crap. Believe me, babe. I don't need to keep any of your stuff to get you to come crawling back here. You did that all on your own. Why do I think you would do that? (laughs) You're so bad at playing this innocent thing, babe. (laughs) It's almost embarrassing for you. (laughs) Look, I don't want to call you out and put you on the spot or anything, but since you've kind of cornered me, in my own home. You don't leave me with much choice, so. Why do I think you're really here? (laughs) Because you're addicted to me. Yeah. Yeah, I just said that. Face it, you're just a little junkie. Addicted to our little never ending roller coaster. You need the rush, the chemical release in your brain. Every time you're waiting to hear what I'm going to say next. What I'm going to do. Yeah. (laughs) It's admittedly fun for me sometimes. Knowing you're still waiting around like some needy little puppy who wants attention. (laughs) But it's also kind of pathetic, isn't it, babe? (laughs) Yeah, it is. Do you feel so very pathetic right now, standing in my house? With your little BS excuse that got you in the door? Just say it. Just say why you're really here. So we can both stop pretending. Tell me what you really want. Because we both know. That you really, really... Hey, watch out for my face. No, it's gonna it's gonna fall off the shelf. Damn it. No, don't bother with that. I'll clean it up after you go. Just stay back from it. Stop. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, would you look at that? <laughs> It does kind of look like you're... I wonder how your watch got into that face. (laughs) Maybe you put it there sometime trying to hide it and just forgot it was there or (laughs) more likely maybe you were drunk. I bet that's it. You do the stupidest things when you're You really think that I hid it on you, don't you, darling? (laughs) That's pretty messed up to accuse me like that. (laughs) Mm. It is. To accuse someone that you claimed to love. For so very long. (laughs) To accuse me of hiding your watch. (laughs) 
tricking you, <laughs> what, into coming here? So I could lure you back into my trap. Hmm? Seduce you. Is that what you think I did? <laughs> well, if you're so sure that I'm that evil, if you really think I'm capable of something that diabolical and devious, then why did you come here at night alone? Hmm? What are you even doing here with me? right now if you think I'm so bad well I think I know hey this is Lacey thank you so much for listening I really appreciate it and um, sorry for the different sound quality at this moment I'm actually recording this on my phone because I just thought of something that I had to tell you. Oh my god. I forgot to mention that this is actually based on a true story. <laughs> um, so it wasn't actually someone I was dating at the time. It was uh, my roommate. So <laughs> I couldn't find so many things. Um, all these things just kept disappearing. You know, my favorite pen, like, you know, my favorite sweater, my, my hat, you know, like, like socks, my phone case, just the weirdest stuff would just disappear. And it felt like every few days I was losing something else. And I thought I was losing my mind. And I asked this roommate, you know, have you seen this? Have you seen this? No, no, no. And I had checked everywhere, all my drawers, my closet, everything. Anyway, one day I'm just sitting there kind of lamenting all the things that I keep losing and, and saying, oh, I feel like such an idiot. And I'm sitting next to her and she sounds just like the girl in this audio. I'm like, it's, it, it, it's comical how much she spoke like a supervillain. She was like... <laughs> did you check in that drawer? And I was like, yeah, I've checked in that drawer like a million times. She goes, why don't you check in there again? <laughs> so I was like, okay, I've literally checked in the drawer like a hundred times, but, and then I open it and it's every item that I had lost like over the last two months. It was so crazy, like, and she had this look on her face, like, <laughs> you're really going to call me out? Like, like it was so, like, she was almost proud of herself for what she did, but also at the same time, like, trying to creep me out in, like, my own home. <laughs> it was so bizarre, like, so bizarre. So needless to say, that living arrangement <laughs> did not last very long. But it was so, it was just so weird. I, I feel like she maybe thought I was like a threat to their, like, um, she was in a relationship. Maybe she thought I was like a threat to their relationship or something and was like trying to assert her dominance or something. <laughs> it was really weird. But anyway, I thought, thought you might get a kick out of that. Um, so yeah, that one was based on a true story. There's usually nuggets of truth in all this, all of these, because they're usually like inspired by something or, or, you know, just a, a weird moment in my life. But, um, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> um, while I have you here, I just want to say another big thank you for listening and thank you to everyone over in Patreon, um, for, for all your amazing support. Uh, there's a, a more uh, spicy version of this <laughs> audio over there. Um, big, big thank you to Humble Humble Squid on the Throne. Oh my gosh, 
I woke up yesterday to just the most like amazing gift from you there. Thank you so much. Um, oh, the muffins. I love muffins and that, you know, I call you all my muffins. So I feel like I'm going to be eating my friends. Um, <laughs> and Luna bars totally get me through my days, like my busy days when I, you know, I don't stop editing for like 10 hours or something. And Luna bars have the like protein to like actually like like satiate me and like um they actually taste good where most protein bars like taste like to me like garbage um and thank you for the beautiful necklace it is so pretty I can't I can't wait uh, until it comes in but um it looks so pretty online so thank you thank you thank you humble you're amazing um and shout out to all my friends on discord uh, if anyone wants to join us, the link is below and everyone's welcome. Um, our only rules are really that you're nice and uh, you have fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we hang out in there like every day. Sorry, I feel like I'm losing my voice right now. Um, and I have my Instagram going. Uh, if anyone wants to check that out, it's the partial face reveal. And I have music on Bandcamp. I'm also a singer, and I, I stream uh, live on Twitch, I'm trying to do it every other Sunday. So we'll see how that goes, but it's, it's been fun lately. Um, oh, yes, and if you've made it this far, <laughs> you are invited. If you're, if you're in my Patreon, you already know about this and you already have it, but um, if not, you are invited this Sunday, and Patreon's invited too, obviously, but they already they already got this audio. Um, <laughs> uh, so on Sunday, I'm inviting you all uh, over my house for a date, um, and I really hope you come. <laughs> and uh, there'll be details about that on my community um, post on Sunday, so keep a lookout. Um, if you if you want to go on a date on Sunday, <laughs> it would be super fun. Anyway, um, okay, I am going to go, but I hope you are having a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever your time zone is. <laughs> and um, I thank you again for listening. I love you so much. Talk to you soon.